So quality and sampling is pretty simple. I actually don't use this feature all that much to be fully honest, but here it goes. So quality and sampling will basically just change how your files are being rendered. We have this logo of me and if we click on the quality and sampling here, we can go to by cubic, which if we zoom in very closely, it will change, add some like weird feathering to it. And then if we go to draft, now it looks gross and awful. So typically speaking for vector files and Photoshop files, you wanna keep these as bilinear rendering. And then for your photo files, let's go over here photos, this lovely photo of my girlfriend drawing me for my YouTube banner. And we have our settings, we can set it to bicubic and it is recommended to set your photos and your footage files as bicubic, but even then I can barely tell the difference. So it's there, just don't have anything set on draft, which is this jagged line. And that's pretty much this what this button does. I just really keep everything on bilinear and it looks great anyways. So yeah, that's what that button does. All right, that's today's quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you learned something and if you need more help, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Again, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my face because you're not getting it back. So I hope it was worth it. And I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You will make some gains, I promise. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Bye. Put the place up. Put my face up.